What's up, guys? We're doing another tier list for Operation Deep Freeze. We are ranking all the operators based just on their guns. No utility, just their guns. Compare the attackers to other attackers and the defenders to other defenders. We're going to go top left and work our way over. Well, let's get to it. Ace, I'm going to place Ace at the S tier. AK, kind of nice. We're going to place the other AK with him as well. Got the Alibi. I'm going to place the Storm at the A tier. I, I like the Storm a lot. But it doesn't have that extra zoom in that I, that I want. Amaru, the G8, is always a solid gun. I'm, you can't really go wrong with it. <laughs> I definitely think Ace is probably has a better gun, but that extra bullet capacity is definitely kind of nice. Aruni, S tier. Easily S tier. DMR on defense. Now let's talk to Burrell. To Burrell. Again, another DMR on defense. DMRs on, I mean, only 10 bullets, 20 bullets. But DMRs on defense will always be really strong because defense, you can take defensive positions and wait for attackers to have to push you so you can see their entire bodies. You can get those body shots a lot easier. Two brow was going to two shot, living any operator in the game to the chest. A Rooney is sometimes a three shot. Nobody uses recruit. It's too brow, brother. You are not listening. Do you have the audio on? Ash. I can't put the G36C next to the AKs or the G8s. I just can't. It's really good guns. I love those guns. I play them all the time. But they're not as high. Think of the spear. I personally love the spear, but I know how hard it is to actually use this gun in a real way. I got to place it... G36 is there. I got to place the spear there. I play Fink all the time, but the spear is a very tough gun to really get good at. A zombie B tier. Decent gun, but the MP7. This is the same gun as a, uh, a zombie. The MP7, which is with Fedor as well. MP7s are nice. They're a little bumpy. I, will, I definitely will put, wouldn't place it S tier entirely, but they're really strong. I almost want to place them S tier. Yeah. Legion goes with the uh, MP7s, which is Oryx as well. Blackbeard D tier. I mean, the gun is just terrible. This is... Ranking the weapon that most people are going to use on this operator. Just based on only the weapons, no utility. Shields are kind of exempt pistol. So shields are kind of exempt. I can't really talk about them in a real way. But Blackbeard is just terrible. Brava. Uh, I want to place this gun at the... I'm going to say A tier. I feel like it can match the G36C in terms of effectiveness. It's not a bad gun. Like... People will pick Brava just to use her gun, and she's pretty good. Buck, I'm going to, again, I'm going to match it to the G36. I, I can't necessarily put it. Actually, I'll place it lower. I'm going to place Buck's gun a little bit lower because I know how hard it is to control this gun at long range. It is really good up close, but long range is a little, it's a little bit rocky. It's definitely a little bit rocky. Which I'm placing at the B tier. DMR and the F2. The F2 can be really strong, but it definitely takes the proper touch to use effectively. Cavera. I'm going to place the Cavera at the... At the seats here next to the Finca. Capital is, is with Brava. Castle, UMPs. I'm going to be placing the UMPs at the seats here with Finca. They are very stable, but the just damage and fire rate just make them fall subpar slightly. Echo, Echo, I will say, has one of the better defender SMGs. I feel like it has the least amount of recoil out of all the MP5s. I, I love this gun. I love playing Echo just for that. Doc, I'm placing Doc there. Again, I mean, MP5, 1.5 scopes are all going to be in the A tier. Besides Echo, I think Echo's has the best recoil pattern in the game compared to the other MP5s. I don't know why, but I just, I just feel like that's the case. 
I mean, Warden is going to be up there with the Echo. Rook. Uh, I mean, I would consider the, the LMGs as well if the LMG was a better gun than the, the initial gun. Uh, let's talk Ying. Ying? I'm going to be honest. I think Ying's gun is S tier. I do. I think Ying's gun is really goddamn strong. Goyo S tier? Uh... Yeah. I, I can agree with that. Super fast fire rate gun with a 1.5 scope. You can't really go wrong with it. Yeah, it feels foul to see Finka with those three ops, but I could I could have told you this. I play Finka all the time, but Finka's worst attribute is her gun. I, you think Ying is on the same level as a spear? No way. That's gun is stable as hell. This gun is a laser beam. Am I wrong? I I this is a laser beam. High mag. Dude's pretty fast and has decent damage. The spear, I think, is is to me is going to be higher on, on my personal list, but I'm doing this list for everybody, including my own opinions. I think the the spear is going to be around like here to here. I'll, I I would put the spear here. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm putting the spear next to the, those guns. I'll do it. I think that it's not as hard to control as a lot of people seem to believe. Knock. Easy C's here. That gun stinks. You're not picking got knock for the gun normally. 650 is slow, yeah, but I'm placing the L8s like basically right next to her. And I mean, comparing this gun to the L8s, about the same fire rate, about the same damage, way bigger mag capacity. I'll, I'll I'll place the Ying of the Eights here. Fine, I'll come back down to Earth. I'll meet. I'll I'll place Ying of the Eights here. This is a weapon tier list. Only weapons. Nomad, you guys are gonna hate me on this one. I'm placing the Nomad at the S tier. What? Remember Ayana being broken as hell? Remember that with her one five on the ARX with the vertical grip. Well, Nomad still has that. In, in terms of just pure fire, fire, pure firepower and winning a one v one firefight, Nomad's gun is really good. Flash, uh, just terrible setup. I don't know. Dokubi, this is where it hurts me. Dokubi to me is an easy S tier operator, but Dokubi's guns on attack is where I, I, I just hate playing Dok because I have to use those weapons. But her ability makes up for it. But her guns still suck. DM, that DMR is not amazing. And her secondary backups aren't going to like... Aren't crazy good. Like you can get away with it. But you're playing picking dope for, for her ability, not for her gun. Ella. I'll place the Ella at the B tier. Her gun can be really strong. Or as I feel the AR can be, I feel like that's a pretty solid gun. There's going to be a lot of A tier because it's like, the A tier is like where it's almost S tier, but it's not quite there. There's going to be a lot of A tier and maybe some B tier on this list, but comparing the attackers more to Finca and the defenders more to like, like let's say Malusi, MP5 with no one at, with no one five. Boom. B tier. My one five with a one five. The Chanka, I thought this LNG was going to be a lot more game changing than, than it is. I'm placing the Chanka at beats here. I just, I, I don't see this LMG really shine enough to really be like, oh my God, it's so good. Frost. Frost, I'm placing the A tier. Probably the most stable 1 5 scope in the game. And it, it does, it hits like a sledgehammer. Glass, I'm placing glass at D tier. That gun is holy mid. 
Cali, I'm going to be placing Cali at the C tier, definitely above Glass, because that gun will one shot down. But in a lot of situations, it's, it does not going to be a real moment to shine. Gridlock, to me, is at least an A tier. Could potentially be higher, but I'll place it at Gridlock at A tier. Grim, with the Commando nerf, I'm going to place the Commandos at the B tier. IQ has a lot of different guns, so you can, you know, if, pick the one you want the the most, but Grim only, only has one real option. The commandos are a little bit weaker. Horizontal, vertical recoil changes as, as well as lower damage. Ibana. I'm placing Ibana beats here. I, there's just something about this gun that I just really don't like. The, the stat numbers are really good. But the recoil is just kind of crazy sometimes. And I, I just, it doesn't really feel like it's a reliable thing for me. Jackal, I'm placing the Jackal at the A tier. I love that PDW so, so, so much. Jaeger, I am going to be placing the Jaeger at the, I'll place Jaeger at the A tier. I, no, I, I'm placing with defending. No, no, I, I can't do that. He's got to go there. He has to go there. Cade, I love my Cade, but here's the thing. I pick a, play a lot of operators where his their guns are kind of mid. I just make them work. I make them seem a lot better than they are, but Cade's guns are not amazing. Now, you can make them work, but they're not the reason why you picked that operator. Yeah, Hibana's horizontal splatter that throws me off. It's like a stable beam, and then there's like one bullet pulls you way to the side. And you're like, what the hell is happening? Lion. Lion. Lion will be eight here. I feel like I need more opera. Sense. This is going to be wild for you guys, but Sense's guns are basically the same as the PDW. So I'm placing Sense at eight here. Maybe if you want. Maestro easy S tier. No one ever said that Maestro's guns were bad. Now his ability isn't bad either. That's why Maestro's so strong. LMG on defense. Maverick. I don't really... I feel more comfortable with all the guns in A tier than I do with Maverick's gun. It, it feels like it's a little bumpy. The Vector. The Roni. I'm going to be placing at the... I'll place Roni at the A tier. I kind of want to place Roni at S tier. I'll do it because I know a lot of people are going to cry about that. Mute SMG 11 and shotgun combo. I'm going to be placing at the B's here because it really is. It is what you make of it. It could be good. It could be bad. It depends about you as a player and how you play it. Osa with the, you know, BDW. So Elise, I love Solis is really strong, but that P91X does take the right hand to use. It can be kind of rough if you're not really good. Thermite, I feel like this is an inferior version of the L8, so I am going to treat it as so. Thorn, easy S here. Thorn has the best gun on defense. I'll say it. Thunderbird, Spear. I, still, I just... I can't place her with K, but I will place her slightly higher. Vigil, same stitch. I just, this gun is just in mid to me mpx with the 1x ram uh i can't place it with the r4c the r4c 1.5 on ram it looks it's an out of control bronco i think the g36c is a more stable overall gun than the, the r4c with the scope so i'm placing the R ram at b's here zero's guns have never been bad i'm placing zero at least at eights here and Zofia's at B tier. Now, is there another attacker I could probably place higher that is currently in A tier? This might be my own personal preference, but honestly, I'm going to do it. I feel like the L8s are the, just the, some of the most solid guns in the game in terms of recoil, fire rate, and damage as an attacker that you just feel like you always win. I feel like I can beat shotgun players by shooting them in the body with that gun if, if you know, if I need to. The L8s, I just love using. So, I'm going to place the L8s higher.
Clear mind is the commander reskinned. I agree. That's why they're in the same realm. What's another attacker that I would move up potentially? G thirty six C. It's a really good gun, but would I label it the same level as L 8s You know what? I'm fine with this. This is the weapons tier list. All the operators in the game based primarily on their weapons. Remember, don't compare a defender to an attacker because that's not how this works. Compare an attacker to other attackers and defenders to other defenders. All the operators in the game ranked based just on their weapons. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and leave a like down below for more. And let me know which operators you would move up and which operators you would move down. Remember, I'm a PC player. Top 100 champion. And uh, console players are going to have a lot different opinions about guns than I will. But, you know, that's each, each of their own. Like, Tuprow, you guys aren't going to love his DMR, probably. But DMRs on defense are so damn good. All right, guys. Peace out. Until next time. Hey.